what's the principal challenge to data and AI adoption? And it's kind of a binary question. When you say, is it basically culture and people or technology, you know, which is the barrier? It's always been significantly high in terms of uh, people and culture. So two years ago in 2024, 78% of the respondents said uh, culture and people were the big greatest barrier. And the other 22 or so said um, it was technology. This year it was 93% said it was culture and people. Business transformation is never easy. I'd also point out that 90% of Fortune 1000 companies are legacy companies, meaning they've existed for more than a generation. So they're not the 10% that are the fail fast, break things type of crowd. Major transformations, new technologies, they unfold over years, decades, centuries, and so forth. So yes, there will be parts of AI that have impact in 2026. There'll be other parts that the full impact will play out over the next decade and other parts will become more uh, fully understood and integrated. I think responsible use of AI is probably the single most important question that organizations need to be asking themselves today because if you don't use it responsibly, among other things, you can put at risk your customers and your franchise and your stakeholders, uh, among other things. If you were to look out three to five years, what do you think, based on everything you know so far, are the emerging talent challenges and opportunities that data and AI leadership should focus on? We'll start with opportunities maybe first. Huge opportunities to reinvent businesses and reinvent the ways that you interact with your customers and the organizations that you use to do that more efficiently and, and more effectively. Any technology can be used for good or bad. You know, even going back to hammer or fire or any technology, you know, airplanes can take people to certain destinations very fast or they can be driven into flown into you know the world trade center so they can be used for any technology be, can, can be used for good or bad one of the questions we asked in the survey is are people uh, fundamentally optimistic or pessimistic in terms of thinking that ai will be for greater benefit and to my astonishment and i think it's good in a way 96 percent of the people that responded said that they thought it would ultimately be used for good there's a lot of things that can go bad along the way but ultimately you know, as human beings, you know, it's our responsibility. And I think that, you know, there's in society and history, there's ups and downs and so forth. But I think usually uh, as a species, we've managed to figure out how to apply technologies in ways that have ultimately uh, led to improvements in healthcare, medicine, delivery of services, creating greater literacy and healthier people around the world. So overall, cautiously optimistic.